occasion of the African Nations Championship organized in Cameroon from January 16 to February 7, 2021, the African Union of Broadcasting, AUB, presents the Spotlight, the Spotlight, the very best of channel 2020. Hi there. Thanks very much for joining me on this edition of The Spotlight. I am here at the Kiria Kides Lake in Yaoundé. The sixth edition of the African Nations Championship marks the first time ever in the history of African Nations Championship that Cameroon is crossing to the semi-finals. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me to take you on a ride in this lake while I show you the reaction of fans during football encounters and several other beautiful stories on this edition. See you on the other side. Thank you very much for joining me on this edition of the Spotlight. As you can see, I'm in the Kiriakides Lake here in Yaoundé. It's a beautiful ride with my tour guide. Now, let me tell you about in their quarterfinals encounter with the Democratic Republic of Congo, the Indomitable Lions of Cameroon won their first ever ticket to the semi-finals in the history of the African Nations Championship. Fans across the country received this news with gladness and they celebrated. They could not withhold their joy as I express it to our reporter. Take a listen. I think they are going to do better because uh, many people criticize them. The other matches, they were not doing well. They were not playing like the Lions they are. But after winning the match of yesterday, they are going to do better and they are going to go far. I want them, for me, I would like the final to be Cameroon-Morocco. Since Morocco won it last time, I want them to organize the shan and take it and win it to prove that they are really Lions. We had a lot of doubts with the kind of selection that uh, the coach made. And the, f the, the first two performances they, they put forth were yet to give some creditations to Cameroonians that they could perform much better. But as at the quarterfinals match, some more positive impressions came in. We became a little bit more impressed about their performance and hopefully, well, we we're thinking that uh, if they continue that same spirit, it's going to be much, much better. Yeah, from the start of the competition, actually, I had been in support of uh, Mali because I had been a neighbor to Mali. Not because I detested the Cameroonian team, but it's football. You can always choose whom to support. And secondly, I gave Mali my support because I saw Mali a stranger into Cameroon. But by blood, I was in support of the Lions. Now, football's come, football comes in. At that juncture of time, everybody, everybody, everybody that wins, we give him the gratitude. I know that we beat Morocco. The chant is yours. They can never leave the country. Very normal. I cannot trust you. I can, I can never trust somebody I don't know. I never had trust on them because I never knew them. You understand? So I cannot trust somebody I don't know. Coming back to the game, they are proving, they are proving that they can play. But all we need to do is give them the confidence, the courage to play. And there is something we have to check inside the team. Because if a team can qualify, in three matches, two goal scores by defenders. You understand that something is wrong with the attack. And if that team is playing another team that has a good attack, that defense will suffer. They will not have the chance to go. They will remain back just to block. And our attack that is, that we have an attack that is nil. Either we draw or lose. So what they have to do, they have to work on the attack. Give them how scoring chances. Make them to understand that they, 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 our victory is coming from the defense, not from the attack. No, the way I'm seeing, they are trying, and we can only keep on playing that they should go for further. No, they are going to play the final like with, uh, you know, actually me, I don't watch much because Mali at that time, I always be at work. Uh -huh. So I don't, I don't, they can only play with Mali uh -huh. for the final. In the stadium during a football match, every fan wants to stand out from the other. Several fans go to the extent of disguising in any form to support their favorite teams. Some go as far as disguising as witch doctors. Yes, you heard me right, witch doctors. Just watch this for yourself. <laughs>
I'm Drew Denis Bonana, former Indomitable Lion from the 1990s squad. Uh, I spent uh, eight years playing for the national team, 56 caps in the national team. Yeah, the memory was the, the first win against Argentina and uh, all the, uh, the warm months in Italy is uh, still a great memory for all of us. Uh, we still recall that uh, period of time. And uh, it's for us uh, the, the, the most important point of our career. Working with the federation, the league, the governing body. Now I'm a manager in football. I was FIFA you know, agent for you know. a long time. And uh, uh, my life is still around football, but at the same time, I'm handling uh, school, former school. Uh, built in 1984, so I'm still the director of the school. So my life is between football, business, and uh, educating young people. I think uh, the sun was well organized. We were ready to organize uh, such a competition. It's the first time we hosting a, a male competition at that level. For me, it's a very good experience. We made everything to please people, to make a good organization. When the, the national team reaches the semi-finals, I think it's quite good. To lose 4-0 against Morocco is very disappointing, but uh, all over, I think the organization is, is good and uh, we are still learning. I hope we will get a good experience to be better host for the next. Oh, I will not send a message to the youngsters because they have done what they could. The message will go to the federation and uh, uh, all sports uh, authorities to make sure that the team is well prepared for the next. Because they, they, they have given all they could to win the competition. But uh, we, they were lacking a few, a few things like regular competition, like um, uh, training camp. But we have to organize our local football better than it is now for us to, to perform well in the next. We are still here at the Kiria Kires Lake in Yaoundé, but let's take a quick dive to Douala. At the Douala Handicraft Center, I want you to discover this center because each time you pass through the city of Douala, this is one place you should consider visiting. There you can find precious jewels, African masks, clothes of all kinds that can serve as memory. So let's take a tour of this place so you can see for yourself. As the largest artisanal market in Douala, these producers say they have all it takes to attract lovers of art. Yes, I exhibit artwork here, like you can see. I have this tikka mask. It is used in the palace for special dances. This one is to celebrate special abundant harvest. For over 20 years that Sanda Umaru has been here, he says a lot has changed with time. At the beginning, when I came here, customers were very many. Many people, including foreigners, used to come here to do their purchases. They came for our culture and for the African culture because Cameroon, as you know, is African in miniature. After that, the sales dropped, and this was at that time because of the September 11 attacks in the U.S., which made movements to really reduce. So customers were not many, but we pushed on. This lady produces accessories out of beads. She says business has improved with the organization of Chan 2020. It was very good here before, but since uh, 
nous avons start en this Covid 19 thing is not going like before. It's very very difficult now, but we are trying. We are trying. We start to move because we have a stranger. They are coming. They are visiting, and someone try to buy. They buy. They are buying small small, but we have a. We think from now to the end, something we have something. As the competition comes to an end, foreigners are hunting for affordable artistic objects to take back home as souvenirs. Uh, Mustafa Alassani, journalist sportif. I am Amusta Alassani, sports journalist from Togo. One here for the Chan and 24 hours to my return. I've been asking what can I take back to my country as a souvenir. I was told there is a special market here for flowers. Arriving here, I also noticed that there were artistic objects that I can get, so I came to get them. You know, we are here to celebrate the African continent and before returning, it's good to take something home as a souvenir. Located next to the Marché de Fleurs, lovers of art can find varied gadgets, from ceramic pots to woven baskets to tourist items, masks and more. Spotlight has been brought to you by the AUB. On the occasion of the African Nations Championship organized in Cameroon from January 16 to February 7, 2021, the African Union of Broadcasting, AUB, presents the Spotlight. The Spotlight, the very best of Channel 2020. It's been my pleasure to have been your host on this edition of the Spotlight. It's been a beautiful ride with you at the Kiriakides Lake in Yaoundé. Find time to visit this lake. You will not uh, regret visiting this lake. You've seen the Dawala Handicraft Center where you can find beautiful things. Adikwale, you've seen how Cameroonian fans are going crazy over the victory of Cameroon to the semi-finals for the very first time in the history of the African Nations Championship. So this is where we draw the curtains on today's edition of the Spotlight. It has been a very beautiful ride. I'm glad to have been your host. See you on the next.